Today's video is going to be on a little story of a weird phenomenon that I've stumbled across in my life recently. I found that much of the best video ideas and research that I've done comes from experience, and this story is certainly a valuable experience that I would like to share with everybody. So one piece of context that you need to know is that I like to watch a few different Minecraft YouTubers when I'm on break. And in the last video, I mentioned some of them, but I enjoy watching quite a large variety. And so I didn't mention all of them. One of these Minecraft YouTubers is a YouTuber by the name of Spiffy. Owen never expects a Minecraft YouTuber to speak about my field, but yet in a recent live stream that I will link in the description, he did. So what happened was this. A donation had popped up requesting tips about starting YouTube and streaming. This led to Spiffy sharing some things about his drive and mindset that has led to his present day life. To be honest, I don't think anyone would expect that a Minecraft YouTuber would speak about these things, but he did. In hearing his motivation and mindset, it struck me differently than say a Matt Diabella video. He told his stream that one of his ways of motivating himself was to ask himself why he was procrastinating or why he was on social media if he wanted to hit his goals as much as he said he wanted to. And I'll be honest, it's not as though I haven't heard this message before. I'm sure that one of the productivity uh, self-improvement YouTubers that I watch has mentioned something along the lines of this message before. But the reason it struck so hard was because it came from someone unexpected. Moving away from Spiffy, probably a larger number of you guys have heard of the YouTuber PewDiePie. PewDiePie makes videos on philosophy occasionally, and I find these videos really impactful because of the contrast to his normal YouTube self. You could probably loosely categorize Spiffy and PewDiePie into the category of gamers, right? The stereotype of gamer YouTubers is that they will just record themselves playing games, edit them a little, and then upload them to their channels, and they will get subscribers and views. However, that is not accurate at all. I'm pretty sure close to nobody knows this, but when I first started doing YouTube, YouTube last year, I didn't only start one channel. In fact, I started two. One was this channel that you're watching right now, and the other was a gaming channel. I quit the gaming channel a while ago because I didn't really enjoy it, but that's not the point. The point is that YouTube requires work, regardless of whatever field you make videos on. While playing video games as a career might, see, might seem quite desirable, the truth is that there's a lot more ugly things behind the scenes. It's not like you just sit down and record for 10 minutes and be done. No, there's planning that goes into it, recordings that often have to be over 10 minutes. I've heard of YouTubers that will record for hours to just get one 10 minute video out. Edit videos, make thumbnails, be entertaining, and even more. While the stereotype is that gamer YouTubers don't put in a lot of work, that is not true. So back to the original topic. Spiffy telling me his motivation and his drive was unexpected. I never would have expected Spiffy, of all people, to dive into these topics. I would rather expect perhaps Richard Yu, Thomas Frank, or Matt Diavella to give me this motivation. Check them out, they're really good YouTubers. Link in the description. So the moral of this video is that sometimes you will need a little spontaneity. Sometimes you will need some unexpected. Sometimes you will need a gaming YouTuber to shock your system into finally encoding motivation and reasons to work harder into your brain. Also, if you want the link to his live stream, I will link it in the description, and I'd highly recommend you check it out. Also, mind you that you start at 22 minutes, because before that it's pretty unrelated and without context probably sounds weird. Anyway, check it out, and all the channels that I've mentioned have links in the description if you wanted to check them out too. So that's it for the video. If you want to check out some more of my work, you can check out the links in my description. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys all for watching and thank you guys all for the support. It's really helped me out a lot. Thank you guys again for watching and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay productive. Bye.